The seven deadly sins of One Piece. Recently, I've been thinking which sins apply to the One Piece characters. We know there's seven deadly sins. I want to know which sins apply to the One Piece characters. The sins being pride, envy, gluttony, lust, wrath, greed, and sloth. Now, sloth meaning pretty much lazy. And we're going to look at One Piece characters in which it applies to when we're talking about being lazy now one that really comes up to my mind is kizaru but kizaru really isn't that lazy he just moves around slow he talks slow but he gets the job done pretty quickly but then that moves me to the guy whose justice is called lazy justice aokiji kuzan you see this man with the sleeping mask he's always chilling uh he's always tired the way he even talks aokiji seems like a guy who really just he seems like a lazy dude the person who takes the cake for most laziest in one piece is gecko mori and the reason why i say this because we know gecko mori in the past was legit and now he's just chilling using the power of others he doesn't really rely on his own powers we see when he was fighting luffy his shadow was fighting luffy the whole time like the way he fights the way he has his swagger i kind of like gecko mori has a swagger when he was sitting down and letting this shadow fight luffy but he will apply as the most laziest when it comes to one piece for me personally now let's look at greed and we know greed relies on someone who just they just want everything they're greedy the first person who i think about when talking about greed is blackbeard because what he did the way he rose to power it was kind of greedy but the reason why i don't want to pick blackbeard is because he had the patience to wait for 20 years for that delta that thatch had and killed them so i really don't want to pick blackbeard for the greed position but then everybody's gonna say nami nami is perfect for greed but the reason why i don't want to pick nami is because we know nami for 10 years she was pretty much doing everything for the town and others not really for herself it was not for selfish gain she was collecting money so she can free her town and i don't really see that as greedy the person i put when it comes to greed and being greedy is the man known as captain buggy and the reason why i put buggy here is because we know ever since the past through the present and through where he is now buggy loves treasure he loves treasure he doesn't even want to look at the one piece he loves treasure so buggy from his past it was present buggy has always been a greedy guy we've seen this when impel down so i'm gonna pick buggy when it comes to being greedy now wrath the wrath pretty much is extreme anger extreme rage extreme hatred and when i think about extreme hatred i could say akainu akainu is extreme hatred for pirates and that really made me think yo maybe it's akainu so that's the wrath but then i look at arlong arlong had an extreme hatred for humans and then when you look at extreme rage or anger we see guys like wiper who's extremely angry but that not really subdued after he found a uh, peace and wiper now really doesn't seem angry anymore i'm gonna have to pick kaido and when we first see him we see him pissed about wanting to start the greatest war the world has ever seen and we also see him angry when finding about a luffy and law who pretty much ruined his plans and that really pissed him off to the point of hitting one of his underlings off the entire island now my choice for lust is obvious but let me just give you so another person that might fit in this category you might say bo hancock because bo hancock is lusting over luffy all the time like literally all the time so bo hancock might be a good pick for this my obvious pick is gonna go for sanji because sanji is always lusting over women i know there's a reason probably for this but sanji his characteristics from the beginning to now he's always lusting over women it just wouldn't seem right if i didn't pick sanji now gluttony you're pretty much eating to the point of waste like just keep on eating the reason why i didn't pick luffy because we've seen that luffy needs the energy to eat to actually fight opponents so i can't really call that gluttony because he actually needs that energy it's not for a waste but then i thought about bonnie maybe bonnie would fit well in this category but i feel like there's some alternative reason why she eats so much maybe it's because of her dove fruit and she needs the energy for that dove fruit to work i'm not too sure but bonnie is really uh she really fits this category well but my final choice for this is big mom and big mom is eating people like she's eating people maybe it has to do with her power of some sort but she's eating people she wants her sweets it's pissed off when she doesn't get her food and big mom fits this category perfectly for envy their obvious choice i'm gonna pick is cavendish because his envy is for the worst generation yes he we know that cavendish was pissed off that the worst generation took his fame and cavendish wants fame he just wants to be in the spotlight and the fact that the worst generation were savages that did anything they wanted and the whole world has spotlighted the worst generation it took off his fame that he had and it really pissed him off if you've seen throughout the dress rosa arc we've seen many occasions i don't really recall we've seen many occasions where zoro shows his pride but the reason why I'm not going to pick Zoro because Zoro on many occasions has thrown away his pride for someone else. And that really makes Zoro character awesome. We've seen moments in like Kuma when he 
put his life on the line, his own goal for Luffy. We also see this when he's begging the man he wants to surpass just for Luffy. Zoro has put his pride on the side for Luffy, and I gotta give him that respect. I haven't done these since, so pride is more on the negative side. Someone who just really wants to make it, they don't care. I'm gonna pick Eustace Captain Kid, and the reason why I'm gonna pick Eustace Captain Kid, we know that Eustace Captain Kid killed anybody who laughed at the dream of finding One Piece. Yes, he killed anybody. Eustace Captain Kid, when going to the New World, crucified the people who wanted to go back to paradise. He was pissed off how soft these guys were in the New World, and he crucified them. But the number one reason why I have Kid here is when he was faced with Kaido. And spoiler alert, if you're anime only, Kaido wrecked Kid, and we've seen that Apu went under Kaido, but. Kid was not about that life. Eustace Kid was not about that life. He had his pride and he wants to become Pirate King and he said no. He said no. Also on numerous occasions we see Kid talking about Luffy and how Luffy thinks he's the leader of the worst generation when Kid wants to. His pride is something big for Eustace Captain Kid and I had to put him for this category. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Do you believe that these picks I made are correct? And if you don't put it in the comment section, that's where you put your opinions there and we discuss it. Like and share if you enjoyed. Like and share only if you enjoyed and subscribe for more One Piece videos. I'm the Legend Mac and I'm gone.